Hey Amy, this is Frank from Max Digital, and I wanted to shoot you over this quick video with some specific things that you guys can do yourselves to help bring in more business just by better utilizing both your website and your Google Business Profile. Okay, so I see you service uh, the Baltimore area, so I did a quick search on plumbers in Baltimore, and this is the search results that comes up, and since 90% of the people never click past the first page, you're going to want to take up as much real estate on this first page as possible if you are looking to grow the business. So aside from paying Google advertising dollars to get into this first section, you would want to focus on getting into the second and third section of the page. So the second section here is known as the Google Map Pack and consists of the three businesses with the strongest Google business profile. I see you already have a Google business profile set up, which is great. Um, just want to make sure you keep it active by continuing to get customer reviews and uh, uploading new pictures to the site. Uh, you might also want to add some uh, posts to the uh, profile periodically since I know uh, some of your competitors do that and uh, you do want to try to use all 750 characters of this description area here uh, and make sure you uh, include some of the local buyer intent keyword phrases that I'll talk about in a minute. So getting your profile up and active is step one to get into the map pack. Uh, the second and most important thing probably is to make sure that your business is mentioned more frequently online than these competitors are listed. Uh, since that's Google's a popularity contest and they're looking to see who is the most frequently mentioned uh, plumber in the Baltimore area. So the way to do that is often to just uh, register your business in more online directories than these guys are in. And so there's thousands of directories out there like Yelp.com, Angie's List, Nextdoor.com, just to name a few. And many of them are uh, free to join. It just takes time to go out to each of those sites and enter in your business name, phone number, and address the exact same way you have it listed in the Google Business Profile so that Google picks it up all as one business and you're able to out begin to outnumber these people or these companies in this section. So critical to get into this section, 30 to 40 percent of the traffic is going to go to the businesses in this section. So uh, you definitely want to be in there if you can be. And then the next section down here is known as the organic listings and it consists of uh, well, it's basically based on the strength of your content and your backlinks profile. And you can see these first like four or five or six, four or five, I think are directory sites, uh, Angie's, Yelp, Consumer Affairs, the BBB and so forth. The first real uh, web plumbing website that comes up is warriorplumbing.com. So I just want to compare your content and backlinks profile to Warrior Plumbing's. <clears throat> okay, so here's your site which does have a good amount of content on here. Uh, so that's really good. You do want to, if you are looking to grow in the Baltimore area, you do want to include more, uh, I would say more uh, references to the fact that you are a plumber in Baltimore. Now I did see in here, in this section here, you do have some of the good local buyer intent keyword phrases like Baltimore plumbing. Uh, I saw Baltimore plumbers here. And I think there was another one. Um, but you're going to want to reference that uh, more times. If you can do it more, the more you can do it, uh, the, the better it is. And so oftentimes that means adding more content because uh, really you want to kind of outnumber your competition. Um, basically, Google is just trying to match up your content to the search term. And so if your competitors are referencing the keyword phrases more often than you are, uh, then they're probably going to it's going to make it more likely that they would outrank you here. So that's content. Um, there's another piece to the pie. Uh, like I was saying here, uh, back, your backlinks profile does play into it as well. Um, backlinks provide power to your site and to your ranking. So, uh, and again, with Google being a popularity contest, you're going to want to have more backlinks than your competitor has. Uh, so backlinks, just to back up here, uh, backlinks are just links from other websites over to yours. And they just give legitimacy to your site in Google's eyes because they act as an endorsement of your site. So um, in the case of backlinks, it's not just about quantity. It's also quality. You want to be making sure that you are linking to sites that are that are also trusted by Google. So and you can tell that because every site is given a DR and a UR score by Google. And so DR score is your trust score. And a good strong site uh, usually has a DR score of 30 or higher. So if you, what you can do is um, you can look at, well, first let's look at quantity. So quantity, you have 2,500 backlinks from 90 unique referring domains and your competitor has 562 backlinks. So less backlinks, but more unique referring domains. So 
what you can do is continuing to add back at backlinks. But what you want to do is look at your highest ranking competitors, click on their uh, ref unique referring domains, see exactly what they're linked to. Most of them are going to be online directories or uh, you know possibly some blog posts. But and you can go out to those uh, directories, say, and and you're going to want to go to the ones with the higher DR scores. So those are the ones you can try to register your business uh, in those registries and then also uh, if you see some blog sites try to get try to get a blog uh, pointed back to your site as well uh, and so you, if you do that uh, for the higher dr scored sites and you do it uh, for you know each of your highest ranking competitors uh, in combination that's going to help you to beat them uh, so that, that, that is uh, what you need to do on backlinks and I hope that information was helpful uh, to showing you how you can outrank Warrior Plumbing, uh, get to the top of the organic section, and get into the map pack. Because if you do, let me just show you the uh, the amount of volume that Warrior Plumbing is participating in because they're in the map pack and they're obviously the number one uh, ranking plumbing site. You know, you, these are just the you know keyword phrases that have to have the plumbing. Uh, word in it or variation of the plumbing word there's also you know water heater installs or leak detection or whatever you know other plumbing uh, phrases that you know you can build it build a keyword phrase with Baltimore in it as well to get it to make it a local buyer intent keyword phrase and you can see just on this plumbing ones this is the number of searches on average per month so forget about this first one because it's not referencing Baltimore but these other ones are local buyer intent keyword phrases and you can see there's a lot of searches per month in the area for people looking for a plumber in, in the Baltimore area. So you'd be able to participate in all that. So I hope that was helpful. Um, if you wouldn't mind, just leave me a comment back and let me know if it was so I can continue to add value to small businesses. I would appreciate it. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I look forward to hearing from you and hope you have a great day. Thanks.